actions as P2B delivers a lecture at Columbia University says Nigeria's situation is critical. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 election, P2B, is one is of the opinion that Nigeria might be in a very critical position at the moment. However, all hope is far from lost. As an event on Sunday put together by the Columbia Africa Business Club and the Black Law Student Association at Columbia University, the Mr. P2B said, while all seems bleak for the nation, there are great chances of turning her feet around. I will say that while Nigeria's situation is critical, it is not yet hopeless. That might be a cliche, but that is the reality the former Anambra State Governor asserted. Many Facebook users have reacted to the headline on Facebook. Some reaction that flew the polls with thoughts. We are yearning for a new Nigeria. Whoever is a Nigerian is telling you that he or she is happy with the status quo. Such person is doing that for personal and not national interest. Another opined, why must all these Southerners run to the United Kingdom and the United States of America to talk or report Nigeria to them? I'm yet to see any foreigner who runs to Nigeria to report their country. Very bad practice and must stop. Southerners, you are the most guilty of this crime. And it must stop. Number three, the real voters are not on social media. The election is not won by insult and far what? By February 2023, we will know the real Nigeria. Okay, um, first of all, P2B is having a tour around the UK, I think, uh, creating awareness for Nigerians over there. To me, I am still wondering, you know. Uh, I don't think I've heard. I don't think I've heard. Well, apart from Jagaban, I think earlier this year, earlier this year, was it earlier this year, late last year, he actually was going to, you know, he was going abroad and he was meeting some people there. We do not know the, we don't know, the, we don't know what exactly they discussed, you know, um, but this time around, I've not, I've not seen, I've not heard. I've not heard that, um, you know, I've not heard that, that uh, something like this happened, that he went to the United Kingdom and he was speaking to them. Sincerely, we will we always hear that he was in France, he was here, he was here, but what he said, what the discussion or what the discussion with people he met over there was, we do not know. All right. My president, what you said about your country to the white people is wrong. No white man will ever say it. Critical condition. Your home country is personal. Your own problem, your home country problem is personal. I know here to solve it. They look at you as a sorry kid. They don't love you and they cannot help you. Well, um, the thing is, the whites, I've said it before. The whites are not here to help. To be very sincere with you. Except they're getting something from it. Except you give them a reason to do so. They are always at it. It's like a give me, I give you case. Do for me, I do for you case. Sincerely. Is a give me, I give you case. This one here, I support them all. You know, the white man will send you message. Whether anything they have on for your country, they will send you. I don't, they, they, they can only do a year for you. I don't think it is there, it is going to go beyond that. I am telling you, the ladder, the, the chunk of work, you know how to make the country better. This is still on your shoulder that it is resting and not theirs. There is nothing, absolutely, there is absolutely nothing wrong in what he said about Nigeria that they do not know, even beyond what he told them. Besides, why painting an ugly situation? But Dubai did not grant Bari visa recently. Do you know why? Well, my dear, I, I think I do. I think I do. No, my dear, it was Nigerians. Okay, it was Nigerians and not their whites. At least Nigerians are supposed to know what is going on. Yes, he met. 
he is going around not speaking to foreigners so he's actually going out speaking to nigerians in these places that people of nigeria are scattered over the face of the earth he went to i think he has gone to georgia he's going to washington dc he has gone to toronto in canada and some very lovely places uh, so he actually went to see nigerians over there he was not talking to the foreigners okay Sickness and hiding will kill you, but if you complete a bit, you will get a solution. Not a problem you will hide. Do you think that the whole world does not know your problem in Nigeria? You are deceiving yourself. Huh? Okay, they're coming out to see what he's actually doing is correct. So disgusting. What is wrong here, please? Is Nigerian situation not critical? My country, this has been the worst problem of this country. Pretending and covering up evil as do all was well. Whereas we all know that all is not well. That is why even after bringing us to this mess, somebody is still out there to tell us that it is his turn to be our president after he and his cohort have filled us totally back then in 2013. He promised us that he has found a man who has what it takes to fix Nigeria's problem and that they will make one dollar to be equal to one naira, few to be 15 naira per liter, and they will give us 24 hours power supply and to be paying some of us a month monthly and employ millions of youths. I understand you. I understand you. I really do. So, he, number one, he's not even going out there telling it to the whites. He's going out there telling it to fellow Nigerians who do not know. Maybe they might be seeing or hearing wrongly. Of course now. He's going to tell them raw truth as he used be. You know. The outside one know what is happening in Nigeria more than you. They know. Why they invited him? You cannot hide pregnancy or do not be small pregnancy. My brother, you're talking about have a better understanding of Nigeria more than you yourself. Take it or leave it. That is the truth. Why do you take your health challenges to them? Which one is damaging the image of a country more? Government officials are supposed to provide health care facilities for the people, but they prefer to open up to the foreign doctors than their own. Why are they in power in the first place? You will not provide security, but you traveled and stayed in a port cabin, makeshift apartment without entertaining any fear. But back home, you surround yourself with mercy men and careless amounts of others. Hmm. Okay, people are coming out to support and oppose the motion. But the thing is, um, what he's doing, I don't think anybody has done it before. He's carrying everybody. To me, I see it is carrying everybody along. But come 2023, hmm? I just hope that the reaction is getting on social media or translates into vote because I make now votes then we count. They will not count posts, they will not count likes, they will not